Hey guys, what's up? Dr. Rossi Shrinks and Sneakers.com. So what I want to do in this video is just talk a little bit about do antipsychotics cause brain tissue loss? This is a question I saw recently somebody posed and said, I, I want a straightforward answer on do antipsychotics cause brain tissue loss, right? So what, what do we see on the imaging studies? What do we see when we look at cortical volumes and cortical thickness? in patients with schizophrenia or those who are taking antipsychotics. So let's just make this really, really simple. Do antipsychotic medications or the use of antipsychotic medications lead to a decrease in brain tissue or brain tissue loss? The simple answer is yes, they do. So this is something that people don't always get, but if you just want a yes or no answer, then the answer is yes. However, like everything in life, and like everything in psychiatry, it's a nuanced point. So we have to talk about the next part of this, which is does the disease process itself of schizophrenia cause brain tissue loss? And the answer to that question is yes. So you have the disease process itself causing brain tissue loss and you have the medication used to treat the disease also causing some tissue loss. With that said, I'm kind of displaying this particular picture here, this uh, slide, and I'll credit Dr. Nasir Gami and his psychopharmacology lectures, which are excellent. If you're interested, go to his website and take a look at his content. But in this slide, it kind of can show you the number of sort of what that looks like, how much brain tissue loss is somebody having, in, it's broken down by gray and white matter, and in cc's per year. And you can see that both for the antipsychotics and for the disease process itself. So the main thing to note here, and the reason I say it's a nuanced point, is that while yes, antipsychotic medications seem to lead to some brain tissue loss, they also lead to less brain tissue loss than the disease process itself. So that's the nuance point. The nuance point is that yes, while antipsychotic medications can lead to some brain tissue loss, it would be less than the disease process itself otherwise left untreated. So it's important to kind of note that situation. And so, I mean, this is a great question. It's a reasonable question, something that people should know about and understand. And they should, and people should know and understand the risks of all these medications when they're being prescribed them. And a lot of times where I think this could get someone into trouble or this gets a little bit, you know, shaky is when you're discussing using these medications for off-label purposes or for other purposes other than, say, schizophrenia. When you're using them for schizophrenia, again, we know the disease process causes tissue loss anyway, and it would be less so if you're taking the medication. On top of that, there are added benefits of having better symptom control on medication than there otherwise would be without the medication. So there is still benefit, but when it comes to treating things like depression or off-label use for sleep or off-label use for anxiety disorders, like some of the lesser, less severe um, disorders where you're augmenting with antipsychotics, you know, you may want to think twice about that when it comes to brain cortical loss. Hey guys, Dr. Rossi, Shrinks and Sneakers.com. So thank you so much to everybody who's liked and subscribed to the channel so far. It's a big help for us to continue to know that at least we're providing some value in terms of the content that we're creating here. What I want to do is ask everybody if they like these videos, if any of this is helpful, if they have specific questions to please like and subscribe to the channel and likewise drop comments in the comment section. I am super responsive to those comments. I try to answer most of them myself and uh, I try to give you a detailed response to your question. So continue to come back to the channel, continue to share the material and help us to grow this channel so that we can keep promoting mental health and psychiatry as a field. Thanks again, guys.